Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Total War Warhammer. That's right. And uh, this, I normally don't do videos about Total War Warhammer, but uh, I actually decided I really wanted to show off this battle after seeing a couple battles from uh, some other YouTubers, specifically uh, Alex the Rambler and his Survival Siege series. So I decided that I kind of want to just do my own little video, one-off probably, and uh, kind of just show you guys a really cool battle that happened to me whilst I was playing the game. I was actually playing as the Wood Elves, as you can see right here. Uh, and the battle was against the forces of the undead, the vampire counts themselves, that's right. Uh, so it was pretty cool. This battle is actually a replay, just so you know, for those of you unfamiliar with the uh, Total War system. Uh, but again, this is a replay, so not everything is going to be exactly how the battle went when I played it. Um, but I will just go ahead and ruin the spoiler or spoil it for you. I do end up winning this battle. Um, but what makes this battle so crazy uh, was the fact that it was only 1,500 elves versus over 7,000 undead. That's right, 7,000 undead. Now, they're not all on the battlefield right this moment, but they will show up um, eventually. Um, at currently, the amount of enemy troops on the field is 4,500. That's three times the number for those of you who have trouble with basic math. <laughs> and they have they literally have three times the number of my guys. So basically to set the stage for uh, what was basically going on in my campaign, uh, at the moment, I had marched my troops all the way from Athaloran. Uh, in kind of a, uh, a, a conquest of sorts, taking control of all sorts of areas um, and ba pretty much marching from Athaloran to the Moot. And at the Moot, I was stopped uh, by the Vampire Counts. The Vampire Counts had been troubling my Empire allies for the past couple of turns. Uh, and basically, this was kind of the, the apex of the conflict with the Vampire Counts. Um, now, this battle was important because we had two major threats facing us. We had the, the Chaos Incursion that was striking in from the north. The Empire had all but fallen to it. Basically, all that was left was Altdorf. Uh, and that's when my armies came in and started pushing back and reconquering lands in the east, uh, taking them back from the Vampire Counts. And again, that's where this battle essentially occurs. Uh, this would be the greatest battle to be fought against the Vampire Counts. However, it would not be the final battle, that's for sure. Uh, the Vampire Counts actually proved after this battle to be able to completely hold my troops off. Um, so, essentially, I never finished the campaign, but what happened was the Vampire Counts just stopped me. Um, I pushed them, I started pushing them into the mountains of Zufbar. They actually had control of that, which I didn't show on that little map that I just showed you guys. Um, but they, they essentially started holding me off there. My troops were tired and my army numbers were, were dwindling. And unfortunately, I was unable to beat them any further. I had to take this main army here. This is my elite army. I actually had to take this army and use it to go fight against the Chaos Incursions that were uh, fighting uh, the Chaos Invasion that was essentially centering its attack on Altdorf. Um, the campaign where I left off was basically a couple of climactic battles versus the forces of Chaos where the Wood Elves, myself basically, and the Empire were making nothing but last stands left and right trying to hold back the uh, evil forces before it was too late and the world was engulfed in chaos. Um, the other thing that essentially occurred that was interesting about this campaign was uh, Britonia launched like 20 crusades into the north, completely coming around the other side of the main chaos force and actually went and took over all that area. It was crazy. So like the whole northern uh, part of the map was controlled by Britonia. They couldn't necessarily hold the area, but you best believe they sure did try. So, getting off that subject and talking about the battle, as you can see here, I have a very advantageous position. Uh, basically, I've put myself between these two cliff 
sides where they have to come through the center or if they don't they have to come all the way from the rear starting out the enemy army had some pretty strong regiments of renown uh these chill guys for examples uh for example this was only one group of two uh, and there was there was at least like six regiments of renown in this army, six to eight. It was it was massive, absolutely massive. And as you can see, basically, I'm sitting here pelting arrows upon my enemies. Um, and to actually stop them, we used the prey of Aneth Rayma, which forced the units to stand still and get picked off one by one by my Waywatcher Sentinels. These Sentinels would actually prove to be incredibly inf effective in this battle. Um, as you can see, the overlooking position we have pretty much lets them shoot right over our troops and down on the enemy forces. Uh, and, and, and the zombies and the undead do not have a very good time taking these arrows straight to the face. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> I freaking like that. Um, this is the first wave. Um, this isn't even the, main, the majority of the Vampire Count army. Um, again, this is only about 900 men, this first attack wave that's coming in. And even then, we shoot more than half of it down before it can even get within range. The most effective troops the Undead Army has in this battle is their archers and crossbowmen. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Commissar Bro, the Vampire Counts don't have any archers in uh, Total War Warhammer. You're absolutely correct. I'm actually playing the, um, the, to the Radius Total War mod and the Radius Total Units mod for this particular playthrough. Um, and trust me, if, if you haven't tried that already, you should totally try it out. It makes the game phenomenal. I mean, I already really like this Total War game. This is one of my favorites in years, but uh, made it way better. Anyway, as you can see, the zombies immediately come crushing into the Guardians of Adelwith, and the Guardians do nothing but just cut them down. Heads explode as they're sliced right off their shoulders, and uh, these fellas just don't give a damn. <laughs> just completely wasting them. The enemy vampire lord of the first force is charging forward. His army all but completely annihilated. Chances are he's not going to get much closer to the front line, uh, as it were. Ooh, 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 there we go. Completely annihilated. And then the archers finish off the vampire lord in one last brutal volley just completely melting him. Now I like how his body just straight up disappeared. When you just get completely incinerated and your body's just gone. <laughs> so this is kind of where the vampire forces start to combine together coming through the forest um, and uh, get much better. The vampire count army was actually led by not only Manfred von Karstein but also Henrik Heinrich Kemmler, um, another vampire lord and uh, Sybil von Karstein and uh, Camilla von Diel. So there was quite a number of uh, vampire heroes who fought in this battle, so keep that in mind. Another reason that we had a major advantage, despite the huge numerical superiority of the enemy army, was the majority of this army came in on forced march. They were all absolutely exhausted by the time they even got to my troops. So my troops pretty much just get an opportunity to fire at them fully fresh. And because of the lack of movement on my troops' part, you can imagine we basically were allowed uh, quite a lot of respite in between these little engagements. However, this is the main Vampire Count army coming at us as we speak. So I'm actually going to put it at triple speed to try to get it going a little bit faster. I want to get the enemy here as soon as possible. And here we can just take a look at my general. The general leading this army is actually Viljen. She's a glade lord riding this magnificent forest dragon who uh, is really pissed off and hungry. Let's just put it that way. Her second in command is Dodan. Dodan is right down here, as you can see, standing in the forces of the guard, standing in between the guardians. This dude is ridiculous. I mean, he is legit killing, like, every time he fires his bow, he kills, like, three men. Enemy fireball coming in, bam, slams right into the Guardians of Adelwith. And then the Vampire Counts use another spell, uh, bringing the health down of this unit considerably and even killing a couple men. 
as we can see the, the the true might of the vampire counts is slowly coming out of the forest so you can really take in just how big this army is keep in mind there's still about I don't know 1500 men who haven't even stepped onto the battlefield yet this main force arrayed against us is about 4,000 men just looking at this and take a look at that fireball just coming flying in at my general and you know what it's gonna smack right into her Ooh, whoa okay there you go I thought it was gonna shoot over the dragon's head well the dragon managed to avoid most of it but still got headshotted but uh thankfully that's one tough son of a bitch so he's not gonna go down to some measly little fireball with that said the enemy are within range again these crypt ghouls charging forward absolutely getting mowed down by the way watcher sentinels truly just looking at from the perspective of the undead forces just getting mowed down by these arrows shining in the fucking sunlight as they just come down and smash them in the face absolutely ridiculous check out these cairn rays they're just like yeah we're little ghosts but unfortunately ghosts are not protected from the freaking weaponry of the wood elves yeah they're not getting saved very much ooh fireball Boosh! I just love the I love the Cairn race when they die. They just basically are like trying to claw their way back out of hell. They're like, no, I'm not ready to go back. Yeah, but too bad, buddy, you're going anyway. <laughs> the Cairn rays smash up against the Guardians, but thankfully they're already broken by the time they get there. A majority of enemy forces are still coming in. One of the vampire lords actually managed to use the uh, the prey of Anath Raymond. So he is basically caught and just getting mowed down by arrows. These Stern's men are moving up. Stern's men are a regiment of renown of Grave Guard units. Now they take the first couple of hits pretty well, but it only takes a few more volleys before they start dropping like flies. Look at that, just getting absolutely decimated by the arrows. And sorry for the uh, drop in the frame rate. Again, I am recording on two different things, so I hope you can bear with me on it. I had a much better recording uh, uh, somewhere, uh, basically, in another video, but um, I might not be able to use that, unfortunately, because of sound. This is actually the second time I'm recording this particular battle, so I hope it's not that bad. It'll be fine, right? As more arrows reach into the backs of the stern guard. Oh, hoo -hoo. I just, I love it. I love sitting here watching those. Like, just watch them come in. Do, 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 do. Just getting stuck all up in those dudes. More arrows are still falling down in the center of the vampire guard forces. Or the vampire counts. As you can see, at this point in time, they're, they're really starting to hurt. They've already lost about 2,500 men. And the battle's only been going on for about between 10 and 15 minutes. Truly, the real fight's only been going for a couple of minutes at best. If we take a look here at the Guardians of Battle With, take fighting up against the Grave Guard, it's still a pretty one-sided fight. I mean, the Guardians are definitely not coming out of it unscathed, but they're absolutely dominating the Grave Guard, who just cannot quite uh, stand up to the elite forces that the wood elves are presenting here basically that's that's the thing about this army this army wasn't just your uh regular group of wood elves pulled in like pulling their first fight these dudes have won well over 20 to 30 battles by now having completely crushed vampires bretonians beast men all manner of enemy forces had been smashed by this army of elves so the vampire counts we're basically fighting one of the best armies in the old world, if not the most powerful single army in the old world. Again, you still had like Chaos and whatnot who could do some serious work, but again, my forces aren't half bad themselves. These uh, these Var guys, these these watch just watch how fast they get just completely destroyed by the uh, the Waywatcher Sentinels. They literally. Okay, I, I mentioned that the previous group dropped like flies. I lied. These dudes dropped like flies. It was absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what else is going on. So, there's Manfred charging on the front line, doing some work. Oh, he actually got a dude, chopped his head off in one fell swing. But unfortunately for Manfred, these Waywatcher Sentinels aren't exactly... Uh, unarmed as it were they are more than willing to fight back and take on the enemy as they can 
So that they're, they're kind of just chugging away at Manfred there. I wonder how long he's actually going to stand up to them. Probably not too long. Taking a look back on the right side of the battlefield, it seems that some of the undead forces have managed to actually push on the left flank a little bit, or in this case, the right flank. And uh, these guardians of a uh, Adelwith are still holding strong. More Vargais come in just to get completely mowed down by the elven arrows. That's right, they didn't stand a freaking chance. The uh, undead forces at this point have lost almost 4,000 men. Um, and the numbers just keep increasing. I mean, in just absolutely minuscule amounts of time, like hundreds upon hundreds of undead are falling in droves as they charge up this hillside of the moot. Pretty brutal if you think about it. There's a couple of groups over here that aren't even fighting anymore. I'm not sure what was going on with that. Again, sometimes uh, it doesn't adequately show the battle as best as it could. So, taking a look, we see the final host of the Vampire Counts uh, merge out of the rear. This is actually one of the... Uh, to be honest, this army scared me a little bit. Uh, because they have three groups of Crypt Horrors. And they also have a Vargeist, and they have, or a Vargulf, not a Vargeist, a Vargulf, and uh, they've got some Sylvanian crossbowmen, which crossbowmen are really scary, if you ask me. They're really early, really scary. Um, and at this point in time in the battle, I was running out of arrows. Uh, as you can imagine, shooting endless waves of arrows at people, eventually you run out. So you can have a pretty badass group of archers, but there's no guarantee that they're going to have enough arrows to kill the enemy forces. Right there, we completely annihilated Heinrich Kemmler, another enemy vampire count lord completely destroyed. At this point in time, Manfred has fallen, Heinrich has fallen, and the only two left are Camilla and Sybil von Karstein. Uh, so for the most part, it seems that the Vampire Counts are pretty much fighting a losing battle. However, assuming the Vampire Counts are able to array what's left of their forces, this battle could still go either which way. If you look at the health of my forces and even the numbers, they're starting to take, the, the melee troops are starting to take serious damage. Check out Doden here. We're gonna, we're gonna slow down and look at what one of his arrows does. Triple kill. <laughs> <laughs> took out three guys just with one arrow absolutely ridiculous this dude's like Legolas just taking dudes down left and right right here uh, my general actually went in to try to kill the uh, the other enemy generals to try to take them out but was swarmed by fell bats and uh, my guardians that are with here were proceeded to be run over by mounted skeletons but again the Guardians do not go down so easily and proceed to fight back against those skeletons like they hadn't been charged at all. Even going so far as to kill like 16 of them in the initial charge. It's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. These Waywatcher Sentinels are even holding off against the enemy forces and doing a pretty damn good job considering they are not a melee focus. They are archer focused, but still they fought just fine against those dire wolves. The only archers we have left are on the back line here, as you can see with these uh, five groups or so here. Uh, everybody else is out of ammo, aside from Doden, who is uh, still firing arrows every so often at the enemy forces that come too close. Let's take a look at the battlefield so far. By the way, I do actually have shadows turned off and whatnot because uh, the shadows kind of messed up on this battlefield for some reason. Has something to do with the trees and the leaves and all that stuff. Just kind of messing with it. Not too, not 100% sure why on that one, but yeah, that's just how it is. So, like, kind of looking at the battle as it is right now, we have held off the main force of the vampire counts. Our troops are tired. Our troops are slowly kind of running out of health. But they're still fighting on as if they hadn't already slain almost 5,000 enemy troops. So at this point in time, the undead are marshalling their last offensive. Um, again, these troops coming at us are pretty damn tired at this point. They don't have much energy left. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit while our uh, 
troops mop up the rest of the enemy forces that are still from that are still engaging from the main force one interesting thing i found was the zombies tried to come up from the rear which is a really interesting idea and in theory it's not a bad idea but these way watcher sentinels aren't exactly they say it says they're frightened by them by the enemy unit but uh, they don't seem too frightened to me. They look like they're pretty much chopping off zombie heads as if they weren't zombies. So, hey, I mean, if that's what a frightened elf looks like, I'll take it, man. I'll take it any day of the week. Again, just looking at this battlefield, there are bodies strewn everywhere. Absolutely ridiculous. The enemy forces are coming near the Sylvanian crossbowmen. Again, Doden is still opening fire on their formation. Just picking off troops one by one, sometimes three at a time. Look at that. He took off two dudes' heads and still managed to hit the dude in the rear's neck. Absolutely brutal. Just continually firing arrows into this group of crossbowmen and just taking them out in droves. They don't even stand a chance, the poor bastards. I do not envy that position at all. I do not envy that. Oh, my goodness. He just... Freaking heads are rolling down the hill. Look at that. Just like, what, what do you even do against such reckless hate? So the other archers proceed to start firing their arrows, but of course, they're not as good as Doden. So uh, they're not taking out as, their single shots aren't taking out as many as he's taken out, but they're still doing some work. Yeah, there we go. So these Sylvanian crossbowmen unfortunately chose the wrong battlefield to fight for their liege lord. If anything, they should have told them they were going to take the day off here. Good God. Just getting absolutely decimated. There's only 16 left. <laughs> Some of them are walking with freaking arrows sticking out of their bodies. Oh, nope. There goes the rest. They have only a couple left. Only six more left. Yeah, I would just run if I were you guys. I mean, take my word for it. You'll live longer. I mean, you had, what, 90 dudes? You had, like, 120 dudes, 100 dudes, and now there's only 60 left. So, anyway, the final force of the Vampire Count's armies are coming. The uh, force on the right here looks like it's going to engage first. Let's go ahead and speed it up just a little bit. But, again, I'm saving my arrows for the big guys. So, we've only got three groups of Sentinels left that still have any arrows left. So, that's one thing we need to keep in mind as we finish out this battle. Uh, basically, instead of wasting what little arrows we have left on the enemy forces, we're going to try to shoot them on the uh, Crypt Horrors and uh, the, the Vargulf. Yes, that's right. So, well, actually, I forgot about this part. The enemy forces are going to combine together for this one last assault. Again, there's only 10 minutes left in the battle, so there's still a little bit of fight to go. Good Christ. Let's just, like, these dudes just covered in blood. Absolutely covered in blood. I imagine more of it is their blood than the enemy blood, you know, considering the fact that uh, they're undead and the only ones that are actually bleeding are either the Sylvanian troops or the zombies. Everything else just kind of dies. <laughs> oh, yes, Jesus, this battlefield. I, this was an absolutely amazing battle for me. I don't know if you could tell the reason I'm so excited about it. All right, so here come the Crypt Horrors charging right up the field. Doden takes down two of them in one nice shot. We use the prey of Aneth Rama on some more of the Crypt Horrors to hold them in place while the archers proceed to fire what's left of their arrows upon them, trying to take them down as quickly as possible. Yes, because if they actually engaged in combat with high morale like they had, there's a strong possibility we would have taken more casualties than we would have liked. At this point in time, we've still got 1,300 men. We've only lost about 200 men in all. The uh, enemy forces have lost over 5,000. And so the final fight for the moot begins. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at them engaging. And those Crypt Horrors manage to close the gap between those Way Watchers. Ooh. And the Way Watchers get smacked right in the face. But again, they're like, whatevs, you got big bone claws. That's fine because we're Wood Elves and we don't give a fuck. We're just going to get back up and proceed to beat the ever-loving tar right out of you. <laughs> That's so freaking brutal. And look at these brave Sylvanian spearmen charging in here, like, behind the monsters, watching the monsters go down, and still just like, oh, this is fine. This is fine. Some of them walking in front of the monsters and getting hit by their own teammates. I mean, hey, 
whatever floats your boat, I suppose. So what's happening on the left flank? The left flank is getting a little bit easier. Just a couple of Sylvanian spearmen and zombies charging forth. Again, the Guardians showing wild abandon and how they uh, performed their duties, not really caring if they're zombies, if they're skeletons, or if they're just regular old humans cutting them down left and right. It's pretty brutal, all things considered. And these poor Sylvanian spearmen can't really stand up to them more power to them for even trying, you know? <laughs> All things considered, I mean, these elves have already killed 5,000 plus of your troops, and you're just going to keep on charging. Why not? Maybe maybe you'll be the one lucky enough to actually kill something, right? I think that's the, that's, that's the hope and desire of all these fellows. So here we go, basically the end of the battle. The enemy troops slowly running out. The Glade Lord engaging the Crypt Horrors. And uh, the dragon going in there, breathing its nasty dragon breath right there on the enemy cryptors and taking them down as if they weren't undead monsters. Look at that, just freaking using its disgusting dragon breath right on their faces and just completely whipping face, taking flight once again and flying forth over the battlefield. So many me, uh, chill guys, some hex wraiths managed to engage a group, engage a group of Waywatcher Sentinels, but the Waywatchers are not in a mood to go down. As a matter of fact, they actually do more damage to the Chill Geists than the Chill guys do to them. Reminder, the Chill Geists are melee troops. Reminder, the Waywatcher Sentinels are not. <laughs> but the Waywatcher Sentinels don't give a shit anyway and proceed to just charge down these guys and cut them down in their retreat. Oh my goodness, it's actually kind of embarrassing how freaking brutal um, the Wood Elves are being to the Vampire Counts. Truly, you would have imagined this to have been a battle that completely decided the fate of the Vampire Counts, but no, they kept fighting. So that's something impressive. I managed to keep down the uh, Vargulf again. I didn't want it to engage with the rest of its troops and then become a problem for me. The Glade Lord engaged the Cryptors, charging right into them. But then we realized, oh hey, we just charged a bunch of monsters with our single monster. Our monster should probably retreat. While the elves charge in one last charge against the Cryptors to bring them down. And save Vilgen, their Glade Lord. As you can see here, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> As they just kind of walk into them. Whap! You know, mad props to charge something that fucking looks like that and just swing your weapon at them as if they cannot kill you. Ballsy, ballsy to say the least. The end of the fight is essentially approaching at this point. So at this moment, we can kind of take stock of exactly how brutal this fight was. Look at this group, completely caught out and alone and still standing and fighting to the death completely annihilating the enemy forces that surround them. That is mind-boggling, to say the least. The Sylvanian Spearmen, these chill guys, even those crossbowmen have this unit completely surrounded, and although they took some casualties, they proceeded to cut down all those who stood around them and took victory. These skeleton archers are not so lucky, unfortunately for them. They are getting chopped down by the Wood Elves' forces, and the Wood Elves are engaging the Vargeist. Or the Var I keep calling it the Vargeist, the Vargulf. Uh, and this is this is something I thought was really funny, actually. The Vargulf just like lobbing its fist at people and throwing them like a mile away, just for the just for the Wood Elves to get back up and charge right back at it again. Can you imagine that? You have like a freaking gigantic monster just absolutely demolishing troops. But they just get back up, and they just charge right back at you again, over and over and over until you die. That, my friends, is fucking brutal. And that was the end of the Vargulf, taken down by the Guardians and the Waywatcher Sentinels of Atholoran. That's right. At this point, the battle is over. There's no other way for the Sylvanians to come back. Truly, their units are being incinerated at this point and in full-on retreat. All that's really left are the Sylvanian crossbowmen who uh, will not fall apart when their necromancer is dead. 
so more power to him. But anyway, so yeah, spoiler, even though I already spoiled it before, we won the battle at the cost of about 368 elves. And we killed over 7,100 undead. That's right, 7,100. I mean, just taking a look at this battlefield, you can really see the extent of the destruction uh, that occurred. And even just like looking at the bodies, I mean, they stretch as far as the eye can see pretty much all over this hill. It's completely covered and the, the wood elf and undead uh, dead, literally, the, the casualties. Um, so, yeah. And again, this battle was enough of a hindrance to me that it stopped me from conquering the vampire counts entirely. I managed to take two more of their settlements after it ended, but ultimately I was unable to destroy them outright. The orcs came in from the south. I showed them on the map previously. Um, they actually came in from the south and proceeded to harass us, causing problems while also having to engage the forces of chaos uh, and the north. And basically, I never really went back to the campaign from this point. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for you guys. That's, that's the battle. Um, I thought this was a really cool battle. And it, again, it was the battle for the moot. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed my commentary. I hope it wasn't too bad. Again, I don't normally do videos like this. Uh, but I was really excited to do this particular one because I thought this was something I could share with you guys uh, that you would find interesting uh, and enjoy yourselves. Again, as you can see here, you can see the actual kills and losses and so on. You can see that the four, the archers alone made up, including Doden, made up about 3,000 of the enemy casualties alone. Just the, the Waywatcher Sentinels. Uh, and then the melee made up the other difference, the other 4,100 roughly, including the Glade Lord. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.